Hello everyone and thank you for watching. This is Hadrian. Let's play some more Planet Base in our Mars Colony 2 series. We are currently offloading more starch. <laughs> it's been a priority in general for the past god knows how long. The last several trade ships that have landed, we've just we've taken their credits and we've given them as much starch as we can stand to give them. Because we have so much of it. So I think one thing I might do in the next episode is, um, or not in the next episode, but soon, is whenever I build a new biodome, oh, sandstorm. Whenever I build a new biodome, I'm going to focus on plants that produce veggies and food as opposed to plants that produce starch, because I think we've got enough starch production. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So we're going to focus with the next biodome on food production. Thankfully, this sandstorm arrived at the beginning of the day. Because we didn't have a lot built up in our power collectors there, so that would have been bad if it had cut off our solar panels before they had managed to fill up all these collectors here. Yeah, you can see how rapidly they fill up, though. That's so nice to see every single time. We have a huge number of spares. We have 33 spares, which is just fantastic. Let me take another look at my manufacturing limits. Wait a minute. Another trading ship has landed. Okay, this person has bots. So I could potentially buy these bots off this person. But I really, I, I kind of don't want to, because I'm building bots with my own stuff. The driller bot would come in handy. A couple of driller bots. Maybe you get rid of 20 more starch. And buy the rest with credits. Oh gosh, that's more credits than I meant to spend. You know what? No, never mind. I, I don't. Mm. <laughs> I'm saving my credits for technologies that haven't appeared yet. Alright, did get some additional credits there, which is good. For those of you who might have missed previous episodes, the technology I'm particularly waiting on is the massive wind turbine, which our power um, grid is kind of at the brink right now. If we have a night where there's not a lot of wind, uh, we are risking power outages a little bit, not as much as we were a few nights ago before I constructed the wind turbine and the solar panel uh, and an additional collector out here as well. No, I think that was the new collector. Um, I, I, built a, I built a few new collectors, I feel like. Um, somewhat recently, but that was the more recent one. Um, but we just need a new wind turbine, and we need a big one, because we just need something to contribute a lot of extra power to the base at night when things like this are happening. <laughs> That's just, it's problematic. We have no wind right now, and the, ba the power collecting, power collectors are just draining rapidly. Okay, robotization reached. Good, we've produced our 10th bot. So what do we actually have? We have five carrier bots, four constructor bots, and one driller bot. That's handy. So our welfare is actually quite good. People are getting, people are uh, very happy with their, their lives. And I think part of the, Part of what's helped with that is our new multi-dome. It's helping keep people happy. Incoming transmission. What have we here? A ship containing a sizable group of spatial accident victims are asking for help. So they need... Uh, I don't know what this is. Reward per visitor. You know what? Sure. That's, all right. And we just lost a carrier bot. Again, I'm going to say this for the third and final time, just for this segment, just to make sure I get some commentary on it from somebody at some point. Um... If you can explain to me how my bots are being damaged irreversibly when I have two bot auto repairs running, and you see one working right now, I, I just don't get that. Um, are they just too far away? Are they not getting back to the auto repair in time? Is the pathfinding on the bots not good enough to where they know that they need to get, get their butts back there and repair? I'm just very frustrated that I built those and I'm still seeing bots um, go away. So if there's a mechanic that I don't quite get, 
let me know. Um, hmm. I'm going to dismiss you. All right, we're going to see if this new group of people lands soon. So we had that incoming transmission. This is one of the unique events I've mentioned at a few points before I built the, the starport. You know, you can have ships land and drop off people that need help. So I gave them permission to land, but I don't see them yet. They should be here soon-ish, maybe. Food-wise, okay. It, it definitely seems like I might need to go ahead and start producing more food. Because it just, it seems like the number is starting to dip back down, even though there are moments where it spikes like this. Um, I feel like I'm, yeah, see like that. I feel like it then dips right back down. So tell you what, let's go ahead and think about more biodome space. Or, tell you what, since we don't have colonists arriving right now, we're at the 100 colonist mark. Um, instead, let's do this. We're going to wait for one of the trade ships to land that has the farm dome patent, which we've actually seen a number of times. We haven't seen the large wind turbine patent, but we've seen the farm dome a bunch of times. So as soon as we see that again, we'll buy it, and then we'll build a large farm dome. And we can go ahead and build some additional water storage to kind of prepare for that. Yes, I want it to be connected in two places there. Just because it looks nice. Okay. So we've got a water extractor and a water tank going up around the same time. We've got 43 spares. Phenomenal. Just phenomenal. Seems like it might take a second for people to get the resources out for these things, though. These things are not going to require a ton of resources, just metal, two there, two there, and then one for each connection. So, seven in total. This trade ship. Uh... We could sell semiconductors right now and do really well. We could also sell guns. Yeah, we're gonna sell guns. <laughs> Just gonna sell a couple of guns, make some money. There we go. I threw a bit of threw in a bit of ore to even that out. It's nice, we're actually producing some of the really high-valued goods now, regularly, so when trade ships come, we don't have to carry as much out to make a lot of money. We still might need to carry a lot of starch out at times, um, because we have so much starch. Uh, we don't have as much as we used to, but there was a, a moment there where we had just a ton. Still waiting on that ship to land, not quite sure where they are. More metal coming out for these buildings here good news. This is in preparation for the eventual farm dome that we're going to build. Power storage is low, not for long, because the solar panels just came online. Ha -ha. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. Our power grid is um, right on the brink. It's right on the brink of being um, workable, I guess you could say. There are going to be some nights where, if there's not a lot of wind, the power grid will fail. All right, so what do we need now? We need two more metal to completely build all this. All right, there's one of them, and the constructor bot is coming out to build some of this stuff. That's good. All right, so new water extractor. Or new water tank, rather. Good. All right, we've got everything we need. Constructor bot is coming out to finish up. Perfect. And he's leaving. Okay, here comes another constructor bot, though. So I'm up to 11 bots. See, we're, we're building bots now, which is nice. So you're going to start to see a lot more bots all around the place. Let's look at our manufacturing limits again. I think I meant to pull that up in a previous episode. Um, I can definitely limit... Yeah, let me limit the spares I produce to 50. 
limit the semi semiconductors I produce to 30 and the guns I produce to 30 as well. That way if I hit an upper limit here, and we'll, we'll limit medical supplies to 32. Uh, that way if we hit an upper limit, uh, the supplies will go towards other things. We'll for instance have more metal. This helps you just keep large colonies like this a bit more efficient. And I've never really needed to do it before because I haven't sustained a large colony for a long time. So we're getting into uncharted territory for me with this series. Fun times. Got some repairs going there on that large solar panel. So I guess that ship that radioed in just decided not to land. Because they, I haven't seen them. Okay, what do we have here? A driller bot patent? Yes, we're going to buy that. I'm just going to buy it outright. Or are we going to bring out some stuff to sell? We could definitely sell some stuff. Rather than spending our money. Definitely sell some stuff. Okay. Yep, I'm good with that. Two guns, eight spares, and we're getting the, the driller bot patent, so we'll have the ability to build those. Let's see, here's these these auto repairs working. I just saw two bots come in and use them, and yet in certain situations. It, uh, bots still fail. Not quite understanding that. Alright, so our water situation is really good now. We have no wind. So our power is dropping like a rock. We have a little bit of wind now. Oh, nope, stopped again. <laughs> Drillabot patent acquired. Awesome! Alright, so I can definitely build Drillabots now. That'll help. I have 11 bots. Okay, yeah, we're about to run out of power. Power storage is low. Yep. So, unless the wind saves me a little bit. Oh, yep, it looks like it's going to. Power storage is critical, but solar panels are coming online right now. As long as this wind stays strong or gets stronger, we should survive. Perfect. Good timing. So yeah, we definitely, uh, we still need to improve our power grid. But I'm, I'm just waiting on the ability to build large wind turbines. <laughs> Again, getting more and more annoyed with each passing episode as we wait for those. Starting to build up starch again. But the good news is we're not running out of food. Tell you what, let's have a quick look at our... I'm still memorizing my shortcuts here. Where's our population statistics? Here we go. So we have five constructor bots and five carriers. Let's switch the constructor bot builder to be a driller bot builder. So we're going to start building drillers that will help produce more metal from all these mines. Also, our manufacturing limits. Yeah, we're starting to hit them, which is good. That's what we want. Okay, maybe this is the ship with with the people on it. Trading ship is landed. No, I guess it's not. So what do you have? You, I mean, I definitely can get rid of some stuff here. You can sell some semiconductors. All right, we're going to take all of his money, basically. And... There we go. So we're killing a bunch of birds with one stone. We're selling some of our valuable goods. We're selling a little bit of starch just to make sure our, our stocks stay manageably low. 
Incoming transmission. A ship containing a small group of irradiated nuclear workers are asking for help. See, I don't know what this means. No, I'm going to say no, because I, I don't know what that means. Hang on, let's, let's have a look here. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing. How's the pub doing? <laughs> Does the pub need another drink machine? Uh, there's only one spot where I can build one that's kind of blocking the hallway. I don't like that. I think we need to build a bigger pub soon. Alright, so people are bringing out a lot of starch to this trade ship. We are still at 11 bots, but producing more. We've gone into another night without our large wind turbine. I'm sorry, I'm going to start bitching about that more and more. With every trade ship that lands that doesn't have it, it just becomes increasingly annoying. That is the thing I need right now. Either that or the, for or the farm dome patent. So I can build a farm dome out this direction. One of the two I'd be happy with. I think what I will go ahead and do is build a new sick bay. Maybe out that way, or perhaps out this way. Yes, perfect. Nice and accessible, really easy to drop resources off at. It's not necessarily like a really salient need, like one that's really obvious, but I just feel like we've only had one sick bay this whole time. Uh, it's probably going to be time for another one pretty soon. People brought their resources right out. That's good news. That's what I'd like to see. And that's how you know the base is doing generally pretty well. So here are our milestones again. We've hit seven of them. We're trying to hit technocracy by buying the techs that we are looking for. We're just waiting for the right ones to land first. And then megalomania. We need to build the monolith. Let's take a look at the monolith real quick. Sick bay's been built. Very good. We'll take a look at the monolith in just a second. First, let's build. For those situations where we know people are going to be hurting, let's go ahead and really prepare the colony. Perfect. All right. Monolith. Requires 40 metal and 10 bioplastic. So that's one that you I literally would just have to build it. And I think what I would do there is um, let the colony run for a bit and let supplies build up. Trading ship has landed. Do you have a patent? No, you don't. You jerk. At least you have coins. I have so much money now. I'll be able to buy whatever patent I need once people that actually have it show up. All right. Screw it. I'm just going to go with that. He's getting slightly more bang for his buck. But that's okay. Ooh, meteor impact on connection, but nobody died. Oh, yeah, that's actually cutting off an area here. So somebody needs to come repair that. All right. It's being taken care of right now. Connection is back online. It's good news. Okay. Scary. These lasers need to do their job. All right, the new beds are going up. We have 13 bots now. Great news. So bot production is finally ticking up since I noticed my manufacturing limit. <laughs> that explains so much when I noticed that. But I do need a trading ship to land. Badly. That has the stuff that I need. Because we're at kind of a standstill while we're waiting for those buildings. I don't want to build too much more. Particularly because we need more power generation. Bed has been built. All right, so 
We've got the new sick bay. It's in good shape. Look at this colony. Wait, here's an even higher spot. Look at that. It's a pretty nice little colony, right? Put the glass up. So you can see all the lighting effects even when you're close. It's just a good looking colony. I'm quite happy with Mars Colony too. Definitely succeeded where Mars Colony 1 failed. On that note, I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this episode here, and we will continue to wait for a trade ship to bring us what we freaking need in the next episode. Again, we're waiting on a uh, large wind turbine, a massive wind turbine, in fact, uh, to land and, um, and, and, or we're not waiting for the turbine to land, we're waiting for a trade ship carrying the turbine to land. But we need it, badly. And then once we have that, we'll be able to think more about other things we can build, like, for instance, a farm dome, once we get that technology. And of course... Acquiring these technologies is also going to help us achieve one of the other milestones that we're waiting on achieving. So trying to kill multiple birds with one stone, but we kind of need one bird to show up first. So thank you for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know what you think. If you want to talk to me about the episode, just comment on various things or make suggestions about things I might have done differently. Let me know. I always like hearing from you guys. I upload new episodes of Planet Base Mars Colony 2 every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's GMT minus 6 for those of you not in the States. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next episode.